Now that you have a few of the basics like formatting and configuring your system down, uh, we're going to get into some of the more exciting parts of PowerPoint. Uh, first, we're going to look at how to actually work with some good looking templates as opposed to building everything from scratch. I think you'll find that for most in instances, you'll be able to pick out a template that fits either your brand or if you're doing this for school, uh, the different type of assignment you may be trying to create. So uh, usually when I create a PowerPoint presentation, I'm using a template. So uh, one of the things we're going to start off with is just opening up the window like normal. And then right here, you have a full list of templates to pick from. If you're using an older version of a PowerPoint, it's going to look different than this. But just click on the Templates button, and you'll be able to pick from a list. And that list may also be different than here. Uh, but we're going to pick one out, pick out any one that you want to work with, and uh, just go from there. Um, so you can see there's a lot of cool ones. I think I'm going to go with this quotable one. And so to start, I'm just going to click on it once. And it actually has other options I could choose from. So I could pick out a green one, a pink one, a purple one. I think I'm going to stick with the standard kind of teal one. And uh, you can also go on more, click on more images. And you can see what the charts will look like. Uh, you can just see a lot of the different kind of neat ways that you can um, customize this. So click on create and it will build that template for you. And now we can do things like put in our title for the presentation. So if this is school, you could put CS 197 and then put your name down here, whatever really that you're needing to, uh, to put in. Uh, you can also come up to insert and you, know, you could put pictures, uh, video, anything like that in there uh, on the home page if you want, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to get into adding pictures later on. So uh, this is our title page and you can add new ones or uh, new slides uh, a couple different ways to do it uh, one you can come over here on the left hand side right click the mouse and click on new slide uh, you can also click on that one right click on it and delete the slide or duplicate it or anything like that uh, you can come up here uh, if you select the insert ribbon and come and click new slide and that does the same thing and if you remember back to our first video we added the new slide icon up here at your quick access bar so you could be literally on any one of these ribbons and just come up top and it'll add that one for you so we're gonna delete this though and come up and we're gonna give this part a title so this is gonna be our intro and then now we'll start adding some points so this is my main point for the intro and then if I have a sub point just hit tab after you hit enter and say uh, this is my supporting point and come all the way back and uh, let's see we'll say this is another point and if you're wanting to say you want to move this to the left hand side there's a few ways to do it the way I usually do is just come click on the home ribbon and as you can see right up here you have the increase list level or the decrease just click on decrease and as you can see now it's made it a main point and so we can come up and we can add multiple levels so hit tab one time and say this is a second level hit it again or hit enter and then hit it again and say third level and just keep going you can add as many levels as you want now an interesting thing you can see is with each level it will actually decrease that font size so you could keep going until you can't even see it I don't know the point of that but you could um, so you can add multiple levels and the other thing that you may notice especially if you took the first two lessons or if you're familiar with PowerPoint Notice how the font is different. Uh, it's uh, if you highlight this text, 
and come up here, you can see that by default this template uses Century Gothic. If we were to have picked out a different template, it may have had some other font that it went with as the default template. So when you're picking out uh, the template, make sure that it is a font you're wanting to use or else you're going to have to be changing that a lot. So, uh, But it, that's a neat thing because it's a way of customizing it so it goes uh, above and beyond the PowerPoint defaults. So uh, that's, uh, you know, that's another thing you can do when using templates.